Now we are going to discuss about how to check general ledger balance. You can go to transaction FBL3N, okay, and here you can search for, uh, you can just execute based on your GL account. So let's see, I try to see for this GL account, what is it? So this is, this is my GL account and I want to execute and anything which is red that means it's spending so so here you can see all the the gl balance okay this is very helpful you go to all items and you can see all of this now this is so this is the way you can check for gl balances uh so fbl3n okay and another in this is an s4 hana system okay another system Another transaction that you can use is FAGL 003H. Okay, so oops, that's not the one. Let's go to SE93. I forgot the transaction. It's FAGL 3 3 something function F4. Okay, it's uh, FAGL. Hmm. Zero zero three zero three FHL yeah three twenty three display balances yeah these are all the ones oh this one zero zero three H so if I execute FHL zero three H I'll just go here system status just to make sure you will see it this is the transaction code FHL zero three H and you go here you put the GL account number and executes and here if you click on this so it will since I'm out running out of session let me so this is the GL balance let me close this one and here if you click on this and show ALV here and here you can hide the ALV and here if you click on this you can change the layout and trust me there is a ton of fields here that you can be used okay so so suppose I want to select icon text and sometimes this this is additional text and other stuff which is very useful click on the green arrow okay and this is this is in only in s4 hana okay so here you can see all these things it's maybe very useful and if you click it has the hotspot you can go to the gl account and you can see the gl balances okay related with the company code and this is pretty helpful okay so this 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 is the way to see and uh, let's see whether we have some other fields that I can bring in change layout and click on so if I see if I can see vendor I'll just bring the document number and I'll bring it here and I can select as a layout save as and I'll just put so always it's if it's user specific I put Z test and I put test and I put uh, user specific I select the green arrow and I select this one green arrow and here you can see the document number and the customer or whatever so if I go here if I click on the back oops, and here I can put my layout. I select execute. Try to find my layout, and I select this one, and I execute. Here, and here you can select all the. All, so you can see my layout changes. My default layout. Now here you can put additional restrictions. This is very helpful. You can put the business transactions and all those things. So this is pretty useful. Okay. And if you can select, you can select other ledger. Okay. 
so so these are very important stuffs that is helpful for for in the financial world okay so you you can go to the entry view also okay and and there you can ent enter more stuffs so so you see this is this is this is the entry view so you can ent enter more stuff so this is pretty useful this is out of the box as for hana has it ready without you need to do any customization or anything you can build more customization if you want but you know this is out of the box ready to be used for in the s4 hana system so we discussed about fbl 3n and we discussed about this transaction fagll 3 h so that's it for anything related with GS, gl balance so, uh, th thanks for your time and stay tuned to my channel and happy sap learning